Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Thief, produced by Looking Glass Studios back in... God, I don't even know anymore. And uh, I am playing this on PC, but it is with something called T-Fix, or Thief Fix, I assume is what it means, because otherwise this game is a pain in the ass to try to get to record. So you'll see that these uh, large black lines on the side, uh, those are there in a good majority of the game, but during the actual gameplay, it will be in 16 by 9, so it will actually fill out all those lines. That said, I have never played this game. Uh, I've only ever really seen little tidbits of it here and there, described as a steampunk world with a little bit of magic touched into it, and your character is a, well, thief. It's, it's the name of the game. Now, full disclosure, I feel like I've been duped. Uh, I kind of thought that Thief was going to be a relatively short game uh, in the long run. However, I looked on how long to beat, and it's averaged out to like 20 hours. So, you know, as someone that's uh, never played this game before, I probably should have put this a little bit higher on my incentives list, but... You know what? Incentive has been met, and uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. I'm I'm kind of very interested. Uh, I'm going to be playing on normal because I am a scrub, and I'm going to do some training. kid. No parents, no home. Running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. Tutorial. Follow the directions of the instructor in order to pass the training tests. Goody. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. So I did do a little bit of changes to the controls beforehand, uh, mostly so as uh, because. It, it's an old game, so WASD wasn't, you know, forward, strafe, strafe, back. It was like, forward, turn, turn, slow walk back. So, you know, full disclosure, this is a mouse and keyboard game otherwise. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Ninja. Or thief. Full disclosure too, I'm usually pretty bad at stealth games. Not because I can't, you know, stay out of sight and whatnot. Well done. I I did not see you approach. I'm Open tall. This door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Use mouse too, got it. Good. Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Oh, I have a map. 
training halls. I don't think it's going to be a long tutorial. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Fair. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. Okay, so that's carpet. I'm guessing stealthing is, uh, helpful too. I don't know. I'm not sure how the indicator at the bottom works. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. All these people Beyond are. This door is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. All these people are totally not voiced by the same voice actor. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, this game was made in like the 90s, wasn't it? I remember making. Uh, people making a big deal about it. Now get your weapons. Ooh. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Alright. your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. Shkoosh. See if you can hit one of these targets. One of those targets? Wait, oh, those targets, okay. Douche. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Whoosh! Haha, <laughs> I'm going to be the epitome of a stealth archer. Oh, the, oh, the training dummies for the sword. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Oh. Put the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. <laughs> Whiff. Uh, eh. How did I overhead swing? Uh. Maybe if I back up and do it again? No? Alright. How do I put away? Oh, right. Till day. Nope. Hello? Hmm. Was it like shift? Nope. Oh, I have a block button too. Eh. How was that overhead? One second. Uh, the Objectives. Right, that helps none. Uh, captions. Overhead swing. Speed toggle. Use item. Black jacks. Oh, jeez, it's gonna be one of those games where you use F1. <laughs> Lean. Take screenshots. Uh, sword. Uh, okay, next weapon. Clear item. Drop. Free luck. I feel like I've. Oh, there we Good go. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Oh, hi. I'm here to kill you, apparently. I got a block. I know how to use it. I don't. Mm. Eh. Ah! 
Come on. Aha! Better, better. Trust, trust. Keep sparring if you wish. When you are done, leave the sparring area. Eh. That's enough sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Which table? The table that was up there? Oh, that table. Would you care for some refreshment before we move on, young Garrett? Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. The next test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. Oh. Uh. Okay, that was weird. I got stuck for a second. The door is locked. But the key from the table will open it. To unlock the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door on screen until it lights up. Then I'm good at this. The key on the door. Good. Now head down this hallway to get to your next test. Where we totally will not kill you. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Hit. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. Okay, how do I run? Is it just... Okay. Good okay. jump. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Uh -huh. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Good job. Oh, okay. I'm most pleased with your progress. You I'm have most passed pleased. the last test for today. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. When you are finished, you may return to your chambers by going through that red door. Yeah, I feel, I feel like the leaning would have been good to know, too. It's just like, it's W, or, or not W, it's Q or E, depending which way you want to lean. The keepers were training me to be one of them. But I found other uses for those skills. Nope. Wait. Never mind. Huzzah! Total time, seven minutes. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place, and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. Oh boy, time to suck. Seek on the manor and ca case the place. The well house in back is your best bet if you can get the key from the guard. Blackjacking or pickpocketing him would be the quietest. 
find Lord Balfour's prized jeweled scepter and read it and redistribute it to yourself. Re 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 read it, re re redistribute it. Oh god, I saw the spacing right there and I was like, what? Try to do it without causing too much commotion. Oh, uh, that's what I start with. I guess I am good. I just want to make sure. Okay, saving stuff. Cool. So, I, one of my biggest worries is like, oh, am I going to be able to save like mid-mission or something? Alright, so front entrance, heavily guarded. Basement entrance. Watch for the interior patrols. Do not try frontal assault. You can't tell me what to do. So, assuming I'm near the entrance, I probably should try to go around one way or the other. Can pay me enough. Blah, 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 blah. Nope, can't open that. Yep, okay, it's the other way. Playing a thief and a fighter. They were something to see. Those bears, they didn't need no cheek spikes and razor collars. Cheek spikes and razor collars. What? Hmm. So this is definitely not going to be like some sort of 100% run. I'm going to try to do what I try to do, as per the usual. Okay, he's got a patrol. Is this how people usually mean to play this game? Just like save scum a little bit? I'm not saying I am. Just saying that I might end up doing so. I come back at some point. Right? Hmm. You don't see me. I am one with the shadows. The shadows also have a billy club. Bonk. Damn it. Bonk. Did it. Oh, uh, I was just trying to loot the guy, but all right. Good to know that's going to be a thing. Suck at doing that in cyberpunk. What makes, Oop. he's inebriated. I'm going to reap all the benefits. Once I save. Is there a quick save button? Uh, uh, crouch, jump. Next weapon. Holy water. 
Yeah, but quick save. F11 and F12 to load quick save. Okay. Boop. Yeah. Only one guard. Still, it'd be nice to get the drop on him. Okay, but hear me out. Dead guard. I'm sure he's fine. Uh, just gonna plop you way over here in the shadow, sir. Oh, no? there, there we go. Portal. Oh. Uh, can I put away the bottle? Oh, I see what they wanted me to do. Kinda. Wait, did I not loot the corpse? Ah, okay, okay. Could you possibly be any more helpful? I mean, he could. He could have just allowed us in. Oh god, it being tab is gonna mess with me. I think. Yep. Well, hey, there's that. This is fine. Look at this. Just doggy paddling through the well. At least it seems like I'm actually staying on the top of the water. Yep. I won't lie. I can't hate this, but mostly because I do have a slight, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not even sure the word I'm looking for anymore. Inside at last. I'm not sure what's in those barrels. I. There's gonna be physics involved, isn't there? Actually, wait. Before we do that, now that we're inside. Pool, exits to street to the second floor. Ah. First floor, okay. Quick sketch. Hmm. I've been thinking. The sir could really beef up security some. What do you mean? What's wrong with us? Well, we're fine. But I've been thinking we should watch the outsides more. That's stupid. People to worry about there on the inside. No, then you catch them before they get inside, you taffer. You know, he's got a point. Oh. Who goes there? Hey! Come on now, hey! Ah, Hold come on. Right there, taffer. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, stop. Don't move! <laughs> ah. I pressed the plug button, but okay. I think I actually have to move my sword in the way of their sword in order to block shit. Well. That's gonna be the first of many. Uh. Continue. P play. Reload. There we go. Inside at last. So how do I I've been thinking. The sir could really beef up security, so what do you mean? What's wrong with but how the hell do I well, get past you fun. jerks? 
But I've been thinking we should watch the outsides more. That's stupid. People to worry about, they're on the inside. No, then you catch them before they get inside, you taffer. Oh! Hmm. Okay. Maybe I can catch this one from behind. Or not. Actually, since we're this far along, just a little safe. No one said that. Oh, come on. Hey, who are you? Bonk. 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 Over here! No, I'm bonking you. Bonking works. It's, uh. Yeah, just a lush in the corner is all. It doesn't have anything on them. That whole gotta be stealthy thing again, which is uh, gonna come back and bite me in the ass several times, cause... Yeah. I realized that he had spotted me the second that I stepped onto the, um... metal plates. Okay, there's a bunch of sleepy people. Bunch of sleepy sheepies. Alright, uh, map. I'm presuming I'm on the second floor. Probably a terrible assumption. Am I stealthing? I was not. Countdown lady, sing this song, do da do da. <laughs> Don't know how I wasn't seen there. Yeah. Oh boy, I can already tell that this place is gonna be a like a maze. Ish. Fancy. Uh, it's well lit too. Did that Oop. shadow move? No. Seems clear enough now. Mess with me, Bonk. you crow meat tapper boy. Gah! Sir, sir, could you kind of? Thank you in the freaking ah. noggin. Put your hands on your head. No. Come on. I dare you. Double dog dare you. Come on. Come at me. Bruh. I'm a thief. I'm I'm fairly certain that there's people already going like, oh god, you are the worst at this game. Yes. <laughs> what part of I'm terrible at actually stealthing do people not understand? <laughs> this is gonna be a long let's play. Like I've always kinda liked the premise of Thief, that's for sure. It's just, you know. I don't play stealth assassin -y roles in, like, Skyrim for a reason. 
Uh, I want to at the least get this mission done for this episode, so this is going to be a slightly longer one. Hello darkness, my old friend. Okay. Ooh, hello. Uh, since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. Yeah, I would love to, except these goddamn tables are in the way. Might as well pick up something hello? for myself. Oh, hello. Show Hi. Yourself. No. Come on. Come at me. Come on. Do it. Fall over. Fall over. Fall over. That's that's all you have to say to me is fall over. All right. People be a little stupid. Oh, okay. I already automatically picked up the goods. I got a feeling I should be moving a little bit slower. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's probably the second floor. What can you tell, Dar? Well, it's a floor that is higher than the one I'm on. Oh, okay, that's the statue. And suddenly the statue casts fireball. Creepy. Okay, so with this uh, with this place I'm a little bit more understanding where I am. Oh wait. The blue highlights where I am. Cool. That's fantastic. Good on me for making that realization as, uh, as I draw closer to the end of the mission and whatnot. Alright, so there's the pool room for the first floor. I have a theory that the way to escape is going to be going diving into the pool room. Or at least it's going to be the fastest method of escape. Just jump and go wee. Okay, wait a second. If that's the pool room of the first floor, then where's the doors that lead to the throne room? Are they hidden? Wait, is the throne room on both floors? No, I gotta go on. Ah, I gotta probably go on the interior. Throne room is set to be on this floor, right? This map is terrible. Okay. Somehow I'm thinking that the smartest idea is to jump down to the first floor. Watch me kill myself making this attempt. Thank you. 
Alright. Pool. Exits to street? Son of a taint basket, I've been here. Have I? Someone's inebriated. Deuce am I missing? Right, as a dead end. Oh, door. I see it now. Where are the deuce? I'm not even sure where the hell I'm going anymore. anything I'm just clearing out this place I know that there was one guard this is just going back outside this is just going back outside oh Have a good day, sir. Yep, this just leads back into here. I think this is the way I need to go. See the guard that's up there. Oh, this is this is heading towards the um <sighs> Okay, to second floor, exit the street. So that way is east. You know what? I have a compass. Shut up. to the street. This is a secret. Looks like that'd be a secret. I think I might as well just go back to the second floor. If I knew where to. It's gonna be one of those games too where you not only have to get this stuff, but you also have to leave undetected, huh? Doesn't help that I have no concept of left or right in this goddamn place. Okay, this is the pool room. How do I get back up there? Don't quite know why the hell they have a freaking pool in these places, but I digress. Oh, that's a fully lit room right there. Hmm. Help! 
Help! Help! Help! How? I'm I'm wondering how the hell I was supposed to have not been seen there. Are there potions? There is cheese. Okay. Let's see if this way is still to the east. Seriously though, I want to know how the hell I was supposed to have not been seen there. Alright, I'm assuming... This is a terrible idea. Uh-huh. I'm kind of assuming that there's... This is the way I came in, wasn't it? <sighs> okay, I see what it was. They expect you to take this way. Be all like, oh, hey, look, a door. I better go through that door. Knock out the dude. Or at least go the way that's not the guards. Is there just like a door that I've missed? See, now I'm just getting frustrated. Okay. So. I just wish these maps were better, yo. All I want is better maps. Right, there's that jerk that I knocked out unconscious. I Where was the way to the second floor? Okay, here we are. Jesus. A little food while I'm at it. Hello. Oh, Roy. I'm gonna want to continue to steal shit. Like actual shit, not just. Oh, there's the plot stuff. God, I feel like this. Door was highly obscured. Mm. I know it's because I'm an idiot. Hmm. Surely that's not the thing from the intro cutscene. I walk slowly. like this I really wish I had a sound indicator of some sort Hey look I knocked someone unconscious finally
and I did it without being seen. No key on you, right? Oh wait, did it? Oh, I was given a second key. Back to my compass. Uh-huh. Ah, balls. Ooh. You know they're expensive when you hear that bring, bring noise. Okay. Holy bath water, got it. Oh, I have a key for this, don't I? Back to my compass. I don't understand why they couldn't just keep the compass on. Oh. Why they couldn't just keep the compass on the, uh... Thing. Someone there? No. No whatsoever. Come on now, come on! Bonk. Thank you. <laughs> it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? I don't know. Here we go. Objective complete. Oh, that was it. Okay. I don't need to escape. I think crap it. Uh, how many people do I kill? Zero knockouts, five backstabs. Oh man, that was no. That, oh, there was so much more loot. So much more loot to be found. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently, they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully, they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The Hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the Hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. Well, that should be fun. Breaking into a prison to break someone out, that's... Yeah, Map doesn't show the way through the mine, so you're gonna have to scout around to make your way to where they hold the prisoners. Yay! But, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return... Ah, Craig's Cleft Prison. I can already, I can already feel all the judgment of all the poor decision-makings I had made from the last episode, from that last mission. 
it's piling on. But thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I hope to enjoy it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.